Good morning students. Students, as you already know, we are doing chapter number 5, Measurement. And today we will discuss how to measure the capacity of different objects in liter and milliliter. So, let's start. Students, you must have seen around you water bottle, packet of milk, refined oil packet, cold drink bottle or packet of fuse. Students, the quantity of liquid present in these containers is called their capacity. Students, I have a water bottle and a packet of milk. The quantity of water in the bottle is called the capacity of a bottle. And the student, the quantity of milk in the packet is called the capacity of a packet. Good. Students, let's see the capacity of different objects. The capacity of this shampoo bottle is 200 milliliter. And the capacity of this face wash bottle is 100 milliliter. The capacity of this shampoo bottle is 200 milliliter. And the capacity of this lotion bottle is 100 milliliter. Students, the capacity of this mouthwash bottle is 25 milliliter. And the capacity of this face wash bottle is 100 milliliter. Students, I have two glasses. Let's check the capacity of these glasses. Students, I put a glass full of water into first glass. And see, the first glass is filled up with water. So, the capacity of these two glasses are same. Now, students, check the capacity of second class. Students, I put a glass full of water into second class. And see, the second class is not filled up. So, I put another glass full of water into second class. And see, with this, the second class is filled up with water. Now students, the capacity of second class is equal to the capacity of two classes. Students, the capacity of second class is more. Students, we often buy milk in the morning. Some households take milk from milkmen and others bring milk from dairy. Likewise, one day, Aman went to the dairy to buy milk and he saw the milkman is using special containers to measure the milk. And this special container is milk measuring can. Students, containers of 1 liter, 2 liter and 5 liter are there to measure the milk or liquid. Students, larger quantity of liquid is measured with liter cans. Smaller quantity of liquid or liquid less than 1 liter is measured with milliliter cans. Now see how many milliliters are there in 1 liter. Students, the capacity of this jug is 1 liter. First of all, I take 500 milliliter mug full of water and put this water into 1 liter jug. Students see, 1 liter jug is not filled up. So, I take another 500 milliliter mug full of water and put this water into 1 liter jug. Now, students see, with this, 1 liter jug is filled up. So, the capacity of 1 liter jug is 500 milliliter plus 500 milliliter means 1000 milliliter. Now we will solve one question later to pass. Which statement is correct according to the given picture? 
four options are given a the capacity of yug is more than the capacity of glass b the capacity of glass is less than the capacity of yug c the capacity of yug and glass is equal d statement a and b are correct this is a glass and a jug students yug holds more liquid than the glass so the capacity of yug is more than the capacity of glass students you saw jug holds more liquid than the glass so the option a and b are correct on the basis of this option d is a right answer so we put tick on the option d students now it's time for homework in your homework take different objects present in your home and measure the capacity of these objects thank you children